In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we are reading the first book of Samuel. We are now on chapter 22. We are reading about David and Saul. And we have seen that Saul was a very bad person to David. But David was with the Lord. The Lord was the one to protect him. Let us trust in the Lord. He will protect us. We also from all dangers. Brothers and sisters, may God bless you. Amo Marie Louise, Amo Malarongo. David fled from the city of Gath and went to a cave near to town of the Adullam. When his brothers and the rest of the family heard that he was there, they joined him. People who were oppressed or in debt or dis dissatisfied went to him about four. four hundred men in all and he became their leader david went on from there to mizipa mizifa mizipa in moab and said to the king of moab please let me father let my father and mother come and stay with you until i find out what god is going to do for me so David left his parents with the king of Moab and they st stayed there as long as David was hiding in the cave. Then the prophet God came to, to David and said, Don't stay here. Go at once to the land of Judah. So David left and went to the forest of Hereth. One day Saul was in Gibeah, Gibeah sitting under a tam tamarisk tree on a hill with his spear in his hand and all his office officers were standing around him. He was told that David and his men had been found and he said to his officers Listen, men of Benjamin, do you think that David will give field and vineyard to all of you and make you officers in his army? Is that why you are plotting against me? Not one of you told me that my own son had made an alliance with David. No one is concerned about me or tells me that David, one of my own men, is at this moment looking for a chance to kill me and that my son has encouraged him. Doeg was standing there with the Saul's officers and he said, I saw David when he went to Ahimelech, Ahimelech son of Ahitob in Nob. Ahimelech asked the Lord what David should do, and then he gave David some food and, his, and the sword of Goliath the Philistine. So King Saul sent for the priests 
Aimelech and all his relatives who were also priests in Nob, and they came to him. Saul said to Aimelech, Listen, Aimelech, at your service, sir, he answered. Saul asked him, Why are you, why are you and David plotting against me? Why did you give him some food and a sword and consult God for him? Now he has turned against me and is waiting for a chance to kill me. Ahimelech answered, David is the most faithful officer you have. He is your own son-in-law, captain of your bodyguard, and highly respected by everyone in the royal court. Yes, I consulted God for him, and it wasn't the first time. As for plotting against you, your majesty, you must not accuse me or anyone else in my family. I don't know anything about this matter. The king said, Ahimelech, you and all your relatives must die. Then he said to the guard standing near him, kill the Lord's priests. They con constipated with David and did not tell me that he had run away if, even though they knew it all along. But the guard refused to lift, to lift a hand to kill the Lord's priests. So Saul said to Doeg, you kill them, and Doeg killed them all. On that day he killed eight five priests who were qualified to carry the effort. Saul so also ordered all the all the other inhabitants or inhabitants of Nob, the city of priests, to be put to death, men and women, children and babies, cattle, donkeys and sheep. They were all killed. But Abiathar, one of Ahimelech's son, escaped and went and joined David. He told him how Saul had slaughtered the priest of the Lord. David said to him, When I saw the wake there that day, I knew that he would be sure to tell, this, to tell Saul. So I am responsible for the death of all your relatives. Stay with me and don't be afraid. Saul wants to kill both you and me, but you will be safe with me. The word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, there are many, many victims around us. When God is protecting us, there are many, many victims. Not because of the will of David, but because he was hiding himself. He didn't want to die. A person of the Lord will never die. He will be protected as he told to this Abba Abratha, one of Aimelech's son, who escaped when and went to David, he told him, hide with me and be sure you will have no problem. Brothers and sisters, you will not have any problem if you stay with the Lord. If you 
serve the Lord, the living God will protect you. I wish to all of us to be protected by the Lord, even though our enemies are so many, but we will be protected. May God bless you, my dear friends. I wish to all of us a very nice weekend. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.